Hey everyone, Nathan Nicochea here. Today we're going to take a little bit of a deep dive into the wild waters of real estate market data, courtesy of our friends over at Altos Research. Because really, what's more fun than discussing inventory levels, right? Trust me, it's more exciting than it sounds, especially when we mix in a bit of reality with a dash of PG-rated sarcasm. Spoiler alert, we're not all in the same boat, and Orange County might just be cruising in a schooner. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, stupid head. While the rest of the country is paddling a canoe. If you want more specific data, though, check out the WTF series on my channel. Now, let's break it down. All right, first up is inventory. Altos is showing a national increase in available homes, which makes sense if you think about it. You've got more people ready to sell because, well, everything's expensive. And moving just might be cheaper than dealing with sky-high interest rates on your current place if you bought at the peak of rates and you can't refi right now. Or if you just see the writing on the wall and want to upsize or downsize before demand jumps and home prices follow. But here's the kicker. Just because inventory is up nationally doesn't mean it's up here. In fact, in our slice of paradise here in Orange County, inventory is still tighter than the waistband on my post-holiday jeans. So while the rest of the country might be seeing more homes for sale, we're still seeing limited inventory, which means buyers here are still in heavy competition. Which is great news if you just love bidding wars. Not so much, though, if you're hoping to score a deal. Next up is price cuts. Nationally, more homes are dropping their prices. Altos is reporting that nearly 40% of homes have had some form of a markdown. It's like the entire country is suddenly in clearance mode. Now, that might sound fantastic to a buyer, but here's the catch. In Orange County, and especially places like Dana Point, price cuts are more like a rare unicorn sighting. Sure, they do happen, but you're going to really need a keen eye and a little luck to spot them. Most sellers are holding on to their asking prices tighter than a kid with a candy stash. So while the rest of the nation is slashing prices left and right, we're still playing a game of really how high can you go. Now let's talk about the days on market. Altos data shows homes across the country are lingering a little longer before selling. But in our sunny little bubble, the story is a little bit different. Homes are still sell selling relatively quickly. So while Joe up in Michigan might be wondering if his house is going to sell before his kids graduate high school, here in Orange County, buyers are still snapping up the price properties. Finally, let's chat about buyer sentiment. Altos has noted that while there's a little chill in the air for buyers nationally, here in Orange County, we're still riding the wave of enthusiasm, or at least acceptance. A finger might not really be on the scale for buyers, but the equity potential is big. Some people say the biggest. The vibe is still positive, especially with interest rates stabilizing and even coming down a bit. Buyers here are optimistic, believing that if they wait too long, they might miss out on their dream house when prices do go up. So to wrap it all up, while Altos's data gives us a fascinating look at the national market, remember Orange County has its own unique rhythm. Inventory is still tight, price cuts are few, and homes are selling like, well, hotcakes, especially if you know where to look. If you're a buyer or seller looking to navigate these waters, I'm not here to convince you. I'm just here to help you steer your ship. Just don't forget to subscribe for more insights and check out my WTF series for the local scoop. Until next time, stay informed and keep your real estate dreams afloat.